Hi, I'm Dr. Shah, the CEO and founder of Next Health. I'm here to give you some details about a revolutionary new treatment that we're offering in Next Health called Therapeutic Plasma Exchange. Although you might not have heard of Plasma Exchange in the past, it's actually been around for quite some time. The procedure was approved originally by the FDA in 1970, and it's been used in hospital settings for decades as a third line emergency treatment for chronic conditions or emergency conditions like autoimmune crisis after transplant surgery, blood cancer, certain drug overdoses, and other autoimmune diseases. Recently, however, scientists have been experimenting with plasma exchange in the outpatient setting for more chronic conditions, and the results have been extremely promising. Some examples include studies showing that plasma exchange can slow the progression of Alzheimer's disease by reducing inflammation and clearing some of the malformed protein complexes that occur in that disease. It can actually ameliorate the symptoms of long COVID. It could potentially treat some neurological diseases and be very helpful in lowering cholesterol levels, particularly of previously untreatable genetic disorders like familial hypercholesterolemia and LP little a. Another group of exciting studies show reversal of many biomarkers of aging. This exciting use of plasma exchange in longevity started with experiments in parabiosis. So you may have heard of this when certain individuals were using young blood or plasma donated by younger individuals to slow their aging process. This was an extrapolation of a mouse experiment done in 2005, where the circulatory systems of two mice, one old and one young, were connected to each other. After a few days, it was observed that the young mouse actually became older in his biology, and the older mouse actually reversed many of the signs of aging. So since then, a two-decade-long search for molecules that could be made into drugs of the young blood has turned up little that is usable at this time. However, it was observed that the mere fact of removing the old plasma from the more aged mouse had similar effects on reducing inflammation, including the muscle cells grew, neurons started to reconnect, and even liver cells became healthier. So how does this happen? Well, the answer lied in the function of your plasma and a very important protein that lives in your plasma called albumin. Your plasma, which is the liquid portion of your blood, makes up approximately 55% of your blood volume. It's a yellowish fluid that carries virtually everything that is circulating throughout your body. This includes inflammatory mediators, proteins, signaling molecules, toxins, and immune complexes. As we age, these signals accumulate and become harder and harder for our bodies to clear over time. A plasma exchange procedure effectively removes all of these malformed proteins and toxins, etc., and replaces them with a new, completely clean fluid. Essentially, it's like getting an oil change for your body. Although it's not my favorite analogy, it does help simply describe the procedure. We're moving at least three liters of fluid for most people that contains these harmful substances, and this gives your body a much needed reset from the damaging effects of these in our circulation. Toxin clearance probably also plays a major role in the efficacy of this procedure. We are exposed to over 140,000 man-made chemicals and toxins that we were never exposed to just a decade ago. These toxins are in our food, water, air, and even our clothing and skincare products. Microplastics, heavy metals, BPA, PFAS, VOCs, pesticides, and many, many more wreak havoc on our biological systems and lead to asthma, chronic disease, diabetes, blockages of our blood vessels, and even cancer. Even though our kidneys, skin, and liver are working overtime to rid us of these toxins, they always circulate in our bloodstream and accumulate in our organs when the exposure level exceeds our rate of natural clearance that our body can achieve. Plasma exchange removes a significant portion of these that circulate in our blood. In addition, the albumin that is infused to replace the plasma is completely clean, so it can now circulate throughout our body and bind more of the remaining toxins that are present. The fresh new albumin is a vital part of the procedure, as it's analogous to the new oil that is given in an oil change for a car. The plasma exchange procedure itself is an approximately three hour procedure that is done in the comfort of our office. When you come in for the procedure, you're gonna be placed in a comfortable chair with an IV in each arm. Then you will be connected to one of the most complex pieces of technology available in medicine today, an apheresis machine. This machine separates your blood into the components of blood cells that carry oxygen and your white blood cells that fight infection that can be reinfused into your body after they're separated. These are combined with albumin and reinfused. 
your old plasma is removed into a large bag, which you can see accumulating as you go through the procedure process. We only remove about 200 cc's of blood at a time, so you should feel perfectly normal and fine throughout the procedure. After the procedure is done, you can go home and rest for a day or two. And that's basically it. Often we do some blood and urine biomarkers before the procedure to see how your blood markers and your urine markers are changing over time. After the procedure is done, we're going to give you a nutrient IV to replace circulating vitamins and minerals that have been removed. You also have the option of infusing regenerative therapies or even NAD after the treatment is complete. Here's a few important things that you can do to prepare for the procedure. Please make sure you're well hydrated and have some breakfast before you come in. Some people do get a little bit faint during the procedure due to fear of medical procedures. We're going to help you through this, but it's much less frequent if you come in ready by eating a healthy meal and being well hydrated. In addition, for 48 hours prior to the procedure and 48 hours after the procedure, you should not drink alcohol, you should not participate in any physical activity, and you should plan on sleeping a solid seven to eight hours of sleep. Basically taking it pretty easy. A few other things that you should know. The procedure of plasma exchange removes some hormones and growth factors that regenerate in 24 to 48 hours, so it's pretty inconsequential. It also removes plasma levels of any medications you might be taking, so you should take your medications after the procedure if you have morning medicines to take. It also removes some of the clotting factors and immune globulins that live in our bloodstream. Immune globulins are your body's surveillance for infection, so you should try not to be around anyone sick prior to and after the procedure. If you have an active infection going on of any kind, you should not do the procedure. You should also avoid any activity that can result in bleeding or bruising because there's a theoretical risk of prolonged bleeding time. We're going to give you some calcium to take prior to the procedure to also negate the effects of any anticoagulant that makes it to your bloodstream that is in the machine during the procedure. The albumin we source is US-based donated albumin that has been thoroughly cleaned and tested for maximum purity. There is no other source of albumin that is available right now. Albumin has the lowest risk possible of any type of side effect or complication. The biggest potential issue that we have seen with plasma exchange is on people with poor or tiny veins that come in dehydrated. It's very hard to get an adequate IV placement in both of these arms on these individuals. So please make sure you come in well hydrated so you have good veins for us to work on. Finally, it's important to note that the procedure is approved by the FDA for certain neurological diseases, autoimmune diseases, kidney diseases, and lipid disorders. Using it for other purposes like anti-aging or longevity is considered off-label. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our team. We look forward to discussing this procedure with you as part of your overall health optimization and longevity program. Thank you.